in this video you will learn how to use OneNote, what to use OneNote for and some of the powerful features of OneNote for Windows 10. And there are two different OneNote applications and sometimes there is a confusion which application is better to use. And if I type OneNote in my Windows 10 search bar, as you can see that there is OneNote for Windows 10, this is the application and there is also OneNote 2016. Now OneNote 2016 is going to be discontinued in 2025 and Microsoft is not adding features into this application. So therefore we all should start using OneNote for Windows 10. Now this application is pre-installed on all Microsoft devices but if not you can download this application free from Microsoft Store. And Microsoft is adding more features into OneNote for Windows 10 and this is what this video is all about. I'm going to show you this application and its features. So let's start this app. I click on that. Now I am logged into my OneNote account and this is a notebook which I have created for this video. And these are the topics which I'm going to cover. This will also demonstrate to you how you can use one note for your project. I have closed my older notebooks but I will open one of those uh, in a minute and I will explain you few things. But before we talk about the details, let's have a look at the hierarchy inside OneNote application. This hierarchy is very important if you want to get organized and be more productive. You must understand what is a notebook, what are sections, what are pages, what are group of sections and so on. So at the top level you have of course your OneNote account uh, which is associated with your Microsoft account. Inside your OneNote you can have many notebooks. I am just demonstrating two but you can have as many as you like. Inside a notebook you can have groups of sections. Making groups of sections is optional. You might choose not to make any group of your sections and you can keep your sections on their own. As on the left hand side you can see that inside my this notebook, the name of the notebook is OneNote Video Tutorial. Inside this notebook I only have sections. I have not made any group. Now inside a group you have sections. If you make a group then inside a section you have pages. So this is first section hierarchy. And inside this section, I have this one page. The name of the page is your OneNote account. And the contents of the page are on the right hand side where I have drawn few shapes and then I have written some text. So this is one page. But if I click on, for example, this putting notes section, this section has these four pages. And as you can see that in the navigation window, this is the navigation window. On the left hand side, you have the top level and then the next on the right is level one below that. So these are sections and there is a button here how to add section which we are going to discuss in a minute. These are pages then there is a button to add pages. Now inside a page if I scroll down inside a page you can have one or more sub pages and not only that there is one more level. Inside a sub page you can also have another sub page. But using up to this level is very rare. But it is a possibility if you want you can have sub pages inside a sub page. Now the way you organize thing is that you do not try to make this hierarchy perfect in the beginning of your project. It is not possible. So the best approach and the best practice is that you start putting your contents on pages and then you can make these sections and start putting pages inside the sections. So this is the best practice when you are using OneNote because OneNote is a very flexible productivity app. You have the flexibility to arrange the things later in your project. So first I will open one of my older notebooks and I will show you how a group look like and how other components of this hierarchy look like in OneNote and then I will explain some of the features because this is a feature rich application. It has a lot of features. And my intention is to cover all these features briefly in this video except the math features. For math features I will make a separate video. Other than that if you watch this video till the end 
you will be able to use OneNote with confidence without any problem. I will cover most of the features. Now, if I click on this notebook, I will see this more notebooks option. If I click there, now these are some of my older notebooks which I have closed during the last few years. One of these is the latest one which I want to use in order to show you various components of the OneNote hierarchy. So I want to open this. I check this box and it will show me that I have selected one and now I click open. And now I have two notebooks here. Currently I am inside this video ideas notebook and if I click on that notebooks word will appear here. And under this notebooks, I can see that I have two notebooks and now I click on video ideas and this is the notebook which I use for my future videos. Whenever I get an idea that I might make a video about any topic, I put that topic here and these are some of my sections. So these are various top level topics which I cover in my YouTube videos. There are few videos about online teaching. There are few videos about this topic and so on. In these sections area, you will notice that there are two titles where we have these arrows. These are groups of sections. And when arrow is pointing rightward, it means that this group is not showing the sections inside this group. So if I click on this arrow, now the arrow will start pointing downward and these are the three sections inside this group which will appear under the name of the group. And now if I click the arrow of the next group, the arrow goes downward and because there is no section inside this group, so I will see this message, there aren't any sections here. Now if I click on any of the sections, then I have these pages and again there is one page where there is an arrow and it indicates that this page has a sub page. And if I click on this arrow, it will show me the sub page of this page. So now you know how a sub page or a page containing a sub page will look like in your pages area and how a group of sections will look like in your sections area. So this was the purpose of this uh, notebook. And now if I right click on this notebook, I can close this notebook again. So in this way, you can open or close a notebook inside your OneNote application. And now we are going to create these components. To create a notebook, simply click on add notebook. By default, it has new notebook name, but you can change it. So for example, I would like to name as test notebook and I click create notebook. Now a new notebook has been created and the software will take me inside the notebook now. And now a section have already been created automatically with the name new section one and similarly an untitled page has been created. I can rename this section and page. If I right click on this section, there is an option to rename the section and I can rename it. If I right click on this page, I have many options and one of them is rename the page and I call it page one. To create a page, click on add page and now straight away I can type the name of the page. Now when there are two pages, now you can make any of these as sub page. So if I right click on this page, I will see this option, make sub page. And when I make this page as a sub page, it will move a little bit towards right under the name of the top level page. Now you know everything about how to create these components. Now the main job of a notebook is to keep you organized. And the way you do it is by putting notes inside this page. And now we are going to discuss what are various features in OneNote application. So starting from the left, you can insert a table and then you select how many rows or columns you want and it will appear on this table size area here, for example, three columns and two rows. I click here and now I can put something inside these cells. In order to write a text, I click anywhere and I can start typing. To change the font, I select this and I click on home area and now I can change the font to a larger font. 
and when I hover over this text you will see a container this is called the container and when you see these double arrows you can click and drag and you can move this container anywhere on the page. Let's go back to insert tab and now I can insert a file if I click on this file and I have selected few files so let's click on this PDF file 1 and I click on open. Now it will show me these three options because with every Microsoft account you get 5 GB of free OneDrive storage. If I choose this it will upload the PDF to my OneDrive and it will insert a link inside this page or I can insert as attachment or I can also insert as a printout. So printout means whatever is written on that file will be written on the page. So this time I would like to insert as an attachment and now this is the file. If I double click on this file it will open the file. So let's close this. So this is how you insert a file. You can also insert picture and there are three options. You can insert a picture from a file .png or .jpg from your computer. You can also take a picture from your camera. You have to give permission. You can also insert a picture by searching in Google or Bing or any search engine if you want to insert from online. You can also insert online videos and now I click uh, this to copy the link of one of my YouTube videos and I can paste it here and I click OK. So that video will be inserted here and you can actually watch the video from inside your page. If I click here the video will start playing. Now let's talk about this meeting details. This is also very important. Your OneNote application is already integrated with your calendar application in Microsoft. So now I open my calendar app. Now as you can see on my calendar app there are two meetings on Monday and Tuesday. So you can create an event inside your calendar and then you can insert that in your OneNote which I am going to show you how. So in order to create a meeting uh, you know how to create. Simply select the day and you type some title to your meeting for example meeting with so and so then you uncheck this all day and you select a time from here and then you simply save. I am not going to do that because I have already made two meetings to demonstrate you. So I close this but then you get this meeting event. And now for example I want to put that meeting inside this area. So I click anywhere on my page because I can move later on and then I click on meeting details and it shows me today's meetings. If I click here on 12 there is no meeting. If I click on 13 I have this meeting. If I click on 14 I have this meeting. Now if I want to put this meeting inside my page I simply click on that and this container will appear here and then I can simply close this. So this is how OneNote works in conjunction with your calendar application and you can also integrate OneNote with other Microsoft applications. Now this simple equation and math uh, we will discuss in another video. You can add stickers if you want and now let's talk about draw tab. If I click on draw I can draw shapes. Uh, any shapes can be drawn here. So let us select a pen from here. And if I click on this arrow, I can select the thickness of this. Currently the maximum thickness is selected. I can select the other one. So let's select this one and select red color. And now I can start drawing something. So let's say I draw this. And it has detected that I am trying to draw a parallelogram. So it has created uh, nice corners for that. So this feature is called ink to shape. You can select uh, these highlighter and different type of pencils and pens. If you click on this plus you will see that pencil, pen and highlighters. There are three different options. Then you have this eraser. If you select this and click on this it will erase the shape. Now the next is view tab. Inside view there are few very powerful features. The first one is immersive reader and I would like to demonstrate this now. So let's create a page and I rename this page as reader demo and I type something. Let me change the font to a big one and now if I click on immersive reader, now this page will appear and now if I click on this play button, 
This is a demonstration of immersive reader. It will read this text for me and if I click on these settings, I can change the voice speed. I can also change it to a female voice and play again. This is a demonstration of immersive reader. And now if I click on reading preferences, I can translate this as well. For that I have to turn this translation on for this document and as you can see that it has tried to translate this into Urdu language and it could not find the word for immersive other than that this translation is correct. So this is how you can actually translate the text as well. So if you click on original this is the original text and this is the translated text. So let's go back. Now the next one is page color where you can change this to any other color. So this is a light red color and this is my favorite ruler lines. If I click here, I can select some lines for this page. I like these lines. If you want, you can insert lines. You can also share your notebook as well. If I click on share, you can type the email address and then you can choose the access type, whether you want to give the edit access or only the view access. And then you simply click share and it will send a link to that person. Now there is also an option to send a copy. If I click on that, then I will have to select one of my Hotmail account and from that I can send a copy. So this is how you can get organized with OneNote application. So I hope that I have covered most of the features. If you have any questions, please put in the comments and I will definitely answer your questions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That will help me to make such educational videos for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.